the world's most famous arena, playing host to the Big Ten Tournament Championship game, which will pit the Michigan Wolverines against the Purdue Boilermakers. The one and two seeds out of the league both got knocked out. Ohio State on Friday, Michigan State yesterday, the one seed knocked out by the Wolverines. We're left with a rematch of the very first ever Big Ten Tournament Final from 20 years ago, Michigan and Purdue. They played in the first, they play again for the title here, this time in New York. Hello, friends, Jim Nance, along with Grand Hill, Bill Raftery, Tracy Wilson. They met twice during the season. Purdue won both by a grand total of five points. There's some fabulous matchups between these two. When you talk about head-to-head -head guard center, it'll be fun to watch. Jim, I love the guard matchup here. Xavier Simpson playing great basketball. He's tough, provides leadership. And Carson Edwards, wow! He has been fantastic on the tear as of late. Forget the guards, the big guys, Haas in the middle, Wagner on the yeah. other side. How they play one of them may be the key to this game. Both of those are going to be fascinating to watch, fellas. Here are the, uh, uh, take a look at the AT&T pass analysis. And Jim, it's the spacing that befuddles people of Michigan. A little roll to the corner, you help or overhelp. Get those puppies organized and drill it. Liver is on fire. And Raph, you know Matt Painter likes to get in the paint. Isaac Haas, so good, so big and strong. They space the floor, and when he's one-on-one, -on -one, he cannot be guarded down low. Matt Painter's team's ranked number eight in the nation. They have spent uh, as many as four weeks at number three, and his uh, lineup includes four seniors with 102 wins. That senior class, Thompson, Matthias Edwards, and Haas. Carson Edwards, though, sensational, the sophomore. Michigan, one senior, Rachman. He's had a great tournament. And so, too, has Xavier Simpson, the sophomore. Bo Wagner got hot in the second half to help eliminate the Spartans yesterday. There's John Beeline, who, with the win, moved to exactly 100 wins above 500 in his Michigan career. And it's 11th season, the all-time winningest Michigan coach. So here we go for the Big Ten title, Purdue and Michigan with Borowski, Weimer, and Oglesby to officiate. We're underway in New York, and Wagner jumps in front. And in the end, it's in the hands of Thompson and the Boilermakers. That's Grand Hill right now. Michigan goes! And right away, they load up with the big. That's uh, the hook. Back it in Wagner, and he scores. And that's the key right there, as you talked about, Raph. Who's going to dominate that matchup? Early on, Purdue going inside. I imagine a steady diet of that throughout this game. Now, last game, he had 13 early points sort of set the tone for Purdue. Comes outside to defend on Wagner. Here's Matthews, who had a couple of quick threes in the game yesterday against the Spartans. Now, Wagner trying to answer back on Haas. Nope, instead, he'll go to the corner. The three and circles out. No easy baskets would be the key for both clubs. It's going to be a grind. Nice ball movement. Open. Thompson steps up for the two, and it's off the front of the rim. Off the floor with it. It's Simpson. He is so tough. Doesn't give it up easily. Good driver. Hit with the body. No call. A wall up. Matthews, excellent driver. Either way. The last time these two met, it was a shootout, actually. 92-88 Purdue win in West Lafayette, and that is a traveling call against Vincent Edwards. When you talk about walling up, Matthews attacking the rim. It looked like Haas had his hands straight up. Went... Yeah, a good call, good no call right there. The immovable obstacle. <laughs> he is, <laughs> He's not moving at all. A large human being. A lot of switching by Michigan. You'll see a lot of mismatches. See if Purdue can take advantage at the other end. that Bachner top of the key and gets the first one to go after yesterday missing all seven from the field in the first half he, he's hollering at us by the way is he? <laughs> well, because he's hollering at you I told him I said nice of you to show up for a half yeah. yesterday <laughs> <laughs> solo in the box Carson Edwards on the side a little too strong with it Haas put back and it goes and the lament of the Purdue staff is he doesn't rebound enough with that body, he can carve out the area, and he keeps the people occupied to let guards do this, Grant. Well, no question. Haas, so much space there. Great move by Carson Edwards. Three guys on Haas. 
he's still able to get it. And you can't tell me he doesn't want this game. Showing some passion, a little bit like his guy Wagner. And on top of that, not only gets the basket, but gets the foul on Wagner. And a good free throw shooter that he's worked on diligently. With that first foul, he, John Beeline frequently takes Wagner out just to space him. Teske, a physically a better match in a sense with the big fella Haas. Rockman speeds ahead. Teske, a very good screener, follows as a little short game. Simpson. Underneath, stuck for a moment. Teske, turn around, no. Second chance, yes. Tell you what, he is a terrific contributor to this club when he gets in. Good defender. Anything he does on an offensive end certainly helps. Guy is trying to get busy with the post rubs. Great catch and turn, kid. Feed the post to Haas. He's going to challenge Teske. And he scores for the third time in this game. And, Coach, as long as he's down there and they play one-on-one, -on -one, hesitant to leave the shooters of Purdue, He's a force down there that can't be stopped. He's got all seven of the Boilermaker points. The decision, you want to give two or three? And then right now, they're just permitting the two, Michigan. Michigan right now putting Haas's man in a lot of ball screens, trying to attack him off the dribble. But they don't have to pick and pop with Teske in there. That's the difference. So he's got a roll. There you go. Oh, as prescribed. Well, he does take up some area, doesn't he, Jim? Well, Raph, you saw that one's getting yeah. set up. So Teske off the bench has scored a couple of baskets. Nice pin down and curl. Again, I would like to rake a little from the top. This is tough on a guy. And there's contact. Teske. Teske. Well, a real good understanding of how, how to Set it, get there on time, don't leave too early, and bang! The big fella Teske. They're going to bring out Haas and put in another seven-footer. Matt Harms, a freshman from the Netherlands. So a good start here for Isaac Haas. A little late, Rockman. Nice cut by Edwards. Right now for Purdue, is Haas is out of the game. Edwards, Vincent Edwards. Carson Edwards. Both have had big games in the previous matchups. Let's see if they can get going for Purdue. Well, if Vincent Edwards can get going early, there's one thing Matt Painter really wants to see. At 31, right, Jim? They had 30 in the, in the second game yeah. against Michigan. 10 in the first. Look how quick he gets rid of that. Matthias off the mark with that one. They pulled down by bump. Matthews. They got the bump on that turn. Simpson feeds Teske again. 31. Matthias trying to help. Who's all league defensive team, but uh, slapped with that foul. And as you see, Michigan running a lot of screen and roll. The weak side has to get in as Teske's rolling to the basket. Right now, they're not doing a good job of helping the helper. Here's the problem. They have those wing shooters. If you over help, you give up three. Oh, it's a dilemma. It You're is right. a dilemma. You're right. Stream live 24 to 24 7 highlights, scores, and news free across all your connected devices with the all new CBS Sports HQ. Teske, a sophomore from Medina, Ohio, will shoot one more. And Nogel Eastern, who gave them valuable minutes yesterday, comes onto the floor for the Bullermakers. Now he is a really terrific talent, great defender, runs the point on occasion, and also got some offensive putbacks. In one of their earlier games against Michigan, but that's tough to shot. Carson Edwards taking a long range attempt. And now Matthews. So good off the dribble on the perimeter, Michigan. It really tests you. This guy can turn it up. Simpson. Teske tries the outside shot this time. Pulled down by Eastern. And you have to love his size and versatility. He did a fantastic job defensively on Carr. Barnes got a little hook game, too. Might be setting it up. There you go. And he is. She's a rattle out. Simpson. Numbers right here. Three on two. Delivers. Delivers can deliver. <laughs> Goodness. He is a great looking prospect. Nice run. And Simpson with the timing. Extraordinary. 
Right now for Purdue, Vincent Edwards has to get involved, engaged here. Too important to this ball club. Boy, he had a slip. He's got an open look, got it to him a little late. Here he is driving in and gets the floater, the drop. He's so important to this team, his versatility, but needs to be aggressive offensively here against a very tough defensive team in Michigan. Well, they're really up on Rocky because he can shoot this. Rocky about this kid. I, I just love this kid. They tell me he has the same demeanor from the minute they start practice, just like in a game. All business. Drill it. He has been on fire here at the Garden. Matthias now speeds it up a bit. Nice show by Teske. Edwards wide open. Three back to the rim. Livers has it for the Wolverines. Simpson splits defenders, splits a third. High off the glass. Oh, my goodness. And he got banged, too. I tell you, he was working on that shot with his right and left hand before practice. P pretty good kiss shot by the little guy. Nice kiss indeed. And how about your guy, Rockman? Nice little dribble handoff. Calm and composed. Steps up, knocks it down. And you get Simpson getting to the rim. A nice little raftery hook shot. Old time music. Kiss. Kiss. Finish. Oh, shot. The madness begins with the selection show next Sunday. Michigan on an 11 to 2 run, and we go over to Tracy. Thanks a lot, Jim. You guys were talking about needing to get Vincent Edwards more involved. Well, it's been up and down for him since he's been dealing with that left ankle injury. I had a chance to speak with him before the game. He said it is definitely stiff. He's only about 80%. He has lacked that explosiveness that he needs, but he said he's going to give it all he's got. This is for the championship. We'll see if he can get going here today, Jim. One of the four seniors, they've got such great chemistry. Uh, they've won 102 games in that senior class. Now, Grant mentioned Vincent Edwards. They're so flexible with him. He's going to play that power to small here. Nice entry pass. And, and this look to back him in as best they can. Picked up by Edwards. Robinson's trying to defend, and the freshman dunks it down. That's Eastern. Great rebound and assist by Edwards. And Eastern showing his. Explosiveness. And that's what I mean for Edwards. You don't have to necessarily score the ball. Just be have an impact on the game and the right. result of the game. Duncan Robinson he has had a big impact this last month, and you see why right there. And, Although usually it's from the outside. And your great point, Jim. He has really developed in later in the year more of that driving ability. He's figured out they're hugging him on the deep one. Ryan Klein is on the floor for Purdue. 14. Matthias swinging it over to that side of the floor. The pass Ooh. too steep. And over Davis, the head of Eastern. Davis on the floor did a nice job showing. They, they are not letting Matthias come off those dribble handoffs for an easy look. A lot of awareness and attention on him, and rightfully so. He does not get fatigued, though. He'll keep running, use those bumps, curls. As you mentioned, Bill, 51 for Michigan. Austin Davis, 6'10 sophomore. Seeing some early action. Look at Simpson's ball handling over to Robinson. Ball bounces outside to Clyde. And with this lead, Wagner getting a little bit of a rest. I want to get him a second foul. Easter Ooh. waits, goes in, and scores. How about that? The offhand. Nice hesitation move by Eastern. Getting to the rim. Not known for a shooter, but this size is able to, to finish in traffic. Eastern going north or south. <laughs> More ISOs is what Matt Painter told the three of us. You can see that really not running their sets as much. Simpson, good far corner to Matthews. He got hit and almost drops. Whew, He'll shoot three. Overzealous. Under 12 break in the Garden, Michigan up by five. Let's start with Lowe's with this meaningful moment. Last year on the way to the Big Ten Tournament in Washington, Michigan's team plane skidded off the runway in Ann Arbor. Thankfully, everybody was okay. And the eighth seeded Wolverines then went on to win four games in four days, capped off by a 71-56 upset victory over Wisconsin. 
to win the Big Ten tournament. So now they've won seven consecutive conference tournament games between Washington and New York and trying to become uh, the third to ever go back to back with the tournament title. And what would you have said in early January about this team? They just worked together. They were undecided about which point guard was going to run the show. And they've just matured and stuck together. Got great defensively is what jumps out. And John Beeline, you have to give him credit how he has worked with this team and emphasized defense. I love the athleticism. And once again, like last year, playing their best basketball at the right time of the year. Back in that tournament win last year, they played Purdue in the quarterfinals. The Boilermakers were the number one seed. Mm -hmm. And Michigan beat him in overtime. So now Matthews at the line off the Ryan Klein foul. Get three attempts here. Michigan shooting here at the start, 58% from the field, and has not turned the ball over once. I tell you, they really do drill the ball. They are great distance shooters. Also, they get good shots. Tuesday on CBS is the game-changing season that keeps getting better with every episode and Michael Weatherly stars in a new bowl that's Tuesday after in CIS only CBS you, know, you watch a lot of games uh, all of us do and they, when they played one another these two teams those games were as good as I watched all year they just went after made shots it's a Purdue win in Ann Arbor 70 to 69 and then at West Lafayette, 92-88, the most points any team scored against Michigan this season. This Haas getting ready to set that up. Could not convert it. He made the beautiful move to get the open look. Ball on the floor, and it's going to go to Michigan. How can you get that close? It's unbelievable. I think he was surprised that he was that open. He was all under the backboard on that particular play. And of course, the ensuing did a little takedown here. He was ta taken down last night. He was on the floor. A little retribution with the wrong team. So back in comes Harms. And Harms gives Purdue a different look defensively. A lot of activity, his length, a lot of energy out there. He's going to see a lot of screen and roll, a lot of slip in the screens with Wagner. There you go. He's hit one already, but not this time. Securing it is Carson Edwards, who has not gotten started yet offensively. Coming up 26 and 27 in the first two games. Nice face. Put back. Draws the foul for Eastern. He is a terrific offensive rebounder. You mentioned the physique of this kid. He's going to be a heck of a player because he can run the point as well, Jeff. He's down there with Jerron Simmons as Edwards misses. And 6'6 six, six Eastern, just and strong and physical, good athlete, aggressive. <laughs> Staying on the glass, almost had a three-point play opportunity. They recruited him out of uh, Northwestern's neighborhood, out of Evanston, Illinois. The freshman now to shoot a couple. That's an unusual little twist there, isn't it? Looks like Jim's putting stroke. Yep, right. oh. No, but mine has a, there's a hitch. You want to talk about that? We call it a yip. Yep. I don't see a yip in this motion. I see something, but it's not that. What's this little peculiar little <laughs> turn? I have to work on that in the offseason. <laughs> Reminds me of the pretzel I had last night. <laughs> Ball's going to stay on this end of the floor. That was just a brief break for Haas. Comes right back out. And Matt Painter does a great job of keeping him fresh, shuttling him in and out of the game, along with Harms. Gets him in for that offense, too, you notice? There he just loads up. Watch him get to the box, stop. You just can't. You got to keep him there with your arm bar. Look at how he did it. It's unbelievable. What not not going to miss do? this time. What can you do? I mean, at some point, you the guards have, have to rake down. If you don't want to double, but somebody's got to maybe on the second bounce or something, make it tougher. He has nine of Purdue's 15. Well, this is eerily similar to his game at home. A little bit of their motion. Nachman takes the shot, now steps back, loads up a three, and he hits another one. How about that? He got Matthias on his heels with that step back. Terrific maneuver. He's had a 21-point game in this tournament against Nebraska. 15 yesterday against Michigan State. Look at Fogner. He's doing everything he can. Oh, oh, that's oh, that's a foul right there. Yep, they call it. He's a little frustrated now. Things aren't going as smoothly. 
when he plays within himself, they are a different team. And you can just see, you got to stay at home with Haas. Wagner can't really help out. He knows they're going to be a little slip pass, but good call by the officials as well. And great footwork. So the first foul on Carson Edwards is 0 for 3 from the floor. Jimmy's got more time yesterday and today. Pass down low, Robinson. Off balance, shooting uh, away from the rim and fails to hit the shot inside like he did earlier. Now Edwards. He's really forcing it. You yeah, he that. really wants to get one to go up Look. ahead. Bachmann chases it down. Oh, great composure by this kid. Michigan's been effective here. Just running their sets, a little high screen and roll action. Nice. Swing, swing. Here's Simmons. Graduate of Ohio University, started his college career at the University of Houston. He can make some threes though, and he's a drop down. Nice little slip there. Wasn't it a nice little split the screen and roll? Split. Yeah. yeah. And he's on the board for the first time. That's the one thing, Matt, on occasion, he'll rush shots, he'll play not within himself. He's got to relax. He's too talented. Same play. Wide open. Botner. Sometimes almost just too open. So, yeah, you're yeah. right. You think a little bit. You can see the difference in the two centers. There's the story of the game of those two guys, I think. Right back down low they go. Again. Nice. Go. I like that. I yeah. like that. That's cool. Once again. Over. There you go. But right back, Haas into the paint, puts up the shot, and says, hey, I can still do this. Wow. Get those nets away from hey, me. I'll yeah. tell you what, they cannot guard this guy down low. Uh, he is a load. Just keep moving him, I think, in this end. I agree. The open looks. Make him move around, fatigue. One more time from the outside. Simmons over two. And Simmons is the same spot. He's exactly. able to hurt. Who can drive it? Goes left. He's got a nice feel, though, doesn't it? It does. Edwards waits. Right. Nice spin it in the air for a while. Vincent Edwards picks it off the floor. Sets up Thompson. Who had his chances that trip? These guys have played a couple of days in a row. It's starting to show a little bit on the shooting. Michigan's missed its last four from the field. Who on the floor? He is not hesitant. And that's going to be. A foul on Klein is second. Seven different Wolverines have scored. And leading it here in New York in the Big Ten Championship, 22 to 19. Not a three to be found for Purdue. Not a turnover committed by Michigan. Wolverines up by three. Oz has been uh, really responsible for eight of Purdue's nine field goals have come into the paint. And Jim, no threes needed when Isaac Haas is one-on-one, -on -one getting the ball in the paint. High percentage, so strong, he feels the defender just spins right off of him, able to touch it off the glass. And Michigan unable to do anything with him. It's five for seven from the field, 11 points, five rebounds early for the big fella. So, Coach, how would you play him? I, I like what you suggested. Maybe help dig a little bit, get back to shooters. Michigan has a lot of athleticism. They did it on that last possession, Livers, although Haas still was able to score. Good luck. <laughs> Stay in broadcasting. <laughs> Speaking of in broadcasting, I know you do countless games here through the years, but this is really where your broadcasting career started. I got to know Bob Wolf. 49 years oh ago, the God. great late Bob Wolf passed away last year. One of the greats. A, a, a Hall of Famer. I started when I was 10, by the way. <laughs> you, used to, you used to help him. Uh, With the Nick games. Nick yeah, games. I, I wasn't on air, but uh, he was just such a gentleman. Yes, indeed. Great to be around. And, a talent and also Obviously. mentored Tracy and a long oh. time. here's Robinson stepping up and beating the buzzer big time and, you know to finish the thought on Haas the wings can shoot the ball so you can't come from the side particularly with Matthias so and, and of course Carson so you've got to come from a different angle Arms out high oh, well, has to dump it down a wild pass but Robinson reached around to commit that one but what a shot at the other end by the senior 
Robinson, great ball fake, did not get off the ground there, and, and is able to elevate, and just a beautiful shot, beautiful jump shot. That Every time he shoots it, I think it's going in. Picture perfect. Edwards running the offense now after a little blow. Arms not the deep threat. Tough shot. Still got it. Two-point shot. Well, Jimmy's got Simpson, so he knows he's secure the fact that he can elevate over him. Ooh, what a move around Thompson. Sets up Teske, who has his fourth. Make that his third basket of the game and eight points overall. Well, you mentioned the Knicks. Earl Monroe used to do that. Embarrass people in this building. That was... Gorgeous. A lot more mobility with this lineup. Edwards has that rejected by Teske, who's given Michigan big moments off the bench. Yeah, he was a recipient of this gorgeous crossover. How about this? This is called a little lingerie on the deck. <laughs> Get the janitor out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Clean up that mess. He needs some help. Goes out high. They are not letting Matthias come off those screens. Thompson. Well, they are right there on the catch, too. You gotta yeah. get a quick release or move the ball. Purdue 0 for 4 from 3. Replace. They do that so well. Matthew steps in. Oh, yeah, a lot of hang time on that shot. I love how he attacked the closeout, got into the paint, able to elevate Matthews. Well, the big thing is the roll guy drags the defender from that side a little, opens it up for him. Pretty well-designed play. It's going away by Poole. Give it up. Up ahead, Matthews. Oh. How about arms? He can give up on it. Now give it up. Two. Run into the other end. Edwards takes it all the way. That will stop the ball at yeah, some point. Cool, you got to exactly kind of left him wide open. Yeah. Shows you what he can do, though. I think he's getting fresher with that ankle, too. Old days, of course, come to NCAA tournament. That should be all taken care of. Well, with this extra week in between, that certainly should uh, give him all the time he needs. Mm -hmm. And now Simpson goes right past him. And scores! What a mismatch. In a different way, huh? Exactly. Foot speed. Simpson did that yesterday against Michigan State. Was able to get to the rim early. They couldn't contain him. Doing the same here today. Carson Edwards, Teske hitting the four. Nice recovery. That kid's given, you mentioned it, good minutes. And Edwards with the three. How many times have we seen that just sort of dribble into a pull-up three-point shot, that little hesitation? It freezes him. It's all in the work shoes. He had a big shot last game in the first half towards the end when the game was getting out of hand, and obviously now keeps it close with that last three. Robinson, he can shoot it. Oh, boy. Down and out. They give him those looks. It's been 50% over the last 10 games. Thompson, open in the corner. That's a fir first uh, for him and a second three in two trips for Purdue. Now, we've talked about Matthias's game. He just plays nice and easy. It's a good shot. He takes it. Ball reversal. Got that open look. Nice roll. Teske. Now a 10. He's playing great. Averages three points a game. Bogner only plays a half, so he'll be back next half, right? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you told him? I did. Oh. He's coming in on the whistle. Matthias. So quick. Look at this. Short with the three. Why are you say? Oh, boy. Fortunate, right? And saved it right to Simpson underneath the yeah. Purdue basket. Yeah. See if they can get pull a look here. Purdue sticking with Edwards on Simpson, a taller guy to try to distract him and prevent him from getting to the rim. Teske. Look at this. Doing it all. Oh. 
Who needs an international player? <laughs> Inside and out. The 7-1 sophomore. Been a huge key in this first half for Michigan. Now Edwards trying to go by him and does for two of his own. Well, he can embarrass the big guys, can he? He just kind of slices and dices, maneuvers and gets to the rim. He's such a small guy, but so strong and athletic. Simpson. Up high, and he touched it last. Nope, they say. It's off Purdue. It'll fall on the Michigan out of the break. And that's your guy Wagner is resting on the bench. Teske is playing big for Michigan. Off the bench, 11 points. Feeling good. Michigan up three. Let's get it underway. Oh, my. It is win or go home. Well, folks, the madness is right around the corner. A week away from Selection Sunday, and these three schools are in. In the last 24 hours, Murray State, Bradford in a thriller at the end, and Loyola of Chicago takes the Missouri Valley automatic berth. Congratulations to all those programs. What an exciting time for those schools. We're going to see some pretty good games next week. I don't know who you're rooting for, but... <laughs> Rest of us are impartial. Oh, you're talking about our American yeah, athletic yeah, conference. Exactly. Yeah. Chance to see my alma mater, Houston, exactly. in person for the first time, call one of their games. We'll yeah. see. But you have Wichita State and Cincinnati. What a game they had earlier oh, today. Oh, fantastic. Incredible win by Cincinnati to take the regular season title and win it at Wichita State's home floor. A lot of talented teams in that league. This league looking at uh, four for sure into the field. Nice curl pass. Wagner left alone. So many playmakers. Matthews. Oh. Then hurt you. A lot of areas. There's four schools from this conference, of course, would be these two plus Michigan State and Ohio State as Carson Edwards. He was, hit, he was hitting that shot yesterday. A little out of control. Oh. Yep, oh. overrule on the ball. Overruled. It was it was touched. By Livers. You talk about playmakers, though. Matthews with the little wraparound pass, getting it inside to Wagner. And Wagner knows how to play. They're going to do a little yeah. offense for defense again, and really just not to get a second foul on the big guy. And that was a, yeah, that was a great call. Livers tipped that. The highest inbound. Just a minute 18 to go. First half. Five point Michigan lead. Potts now testing. Teske, but unable to get that left hander to drop. Go the other way. And I'll tell you, Teske was pesky on that play <laughs> defensively. Being physical, walling them up. Making Haas a little uncomfortable down there, just being big. Just couldn't get, couldn't get that angle, right? Couldn't get the angle. Textbook defense. And now you come with the offensive threat. Pretty good maneuver by John B. I guess he knows what he's doing over there. Five team fouls on each side with a minute to go. It'll be a different look. I don't know the pick and pop now because Harms is on the floor. Oh, he helped over help. Finder thought about it. Instead, drives in, comes back out with it. Great help by Easton from the corner. Nice one. Well, Simpson, but he hurt himself too on that play, but what? Vision by the little guy. This ties Michigan's biggest lead. Nice slip. Arms. And what Great a, pass. What a nice slip. I was just thinking the same thing, Carson. <laughs> and now Michigan with the last 20 seconds and a five point lead. This is as expected, I think, don't you two? Oh, yeah, this is. It's going to be destined for a close finish yeah. at the end, like uh, the first two. No I question. Would, I'd agree. Simpson. Pick and pop. A little late. Wagner. Back of the rim. Harms rebound. Halftime is here. Well, how do you control Simpson? you got to bless on that guy, don't you? Simpson has dominated here in the first half. Pick it apart. 
Purdue's defense. Coming up on AT&T at the half, Greg Gumbel, Clark Kellogg, Seth Davis will have today's highlights, including three elated programs who we just talked about punching their tickets to the big dance coming up on AT&T at the half. But first, over to Tracy. Well, thanks a lot. And, Coach, I know you don't have much of a voice, but Isaac Haas, just so hard to handle yeah. down low. How do you adjust? We, 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 we're not double teaming him, but we are double guarding him by just alternating our big guys in. John Teske's done an incredible job on him, and we're trying to keep Mo out of foul trouble, obviously. But he's but it's, it's like the largest human being I've ever played against in my life. And there may be bigger guys, I just haven't coached against them. Thanks a lot. All right, thanks. <laughs> How about this? Michigan did not commit a single turnover in that first half and shot 53%. Where are we going? We're going now a few blocks away to Greg in the studio. CBS Sports coverage of the Big Ten Tournament is sponsored by AT&T. Buick, proud partner of the NCAA. And by Enterprise, rent a car, official partner of the NCAA. And a look back at the most recent champions of this tournament with Michigan winning it a year ago in Washington, D.C. Let's take a look at the Ford first half stats. And there's some fascinating numbers in this mix here with a 38 33 Michigan lead, including no turnovers committed so far by the Wolverines. Let's go over to Tracy. Well, thanks a lot, Jim. I had a chance to speak with Matt Painter coming out of the locker room, and he said, we are fortunate to be down just five. He said, Michigan missed a lot of open shots. He said, they broke us down. He said, we just didn't do a good job of guarding the basketball. He said, if we don't fix it here in the second half, it's going to be a long night, Jim. Well, what do you see coming here in the second half, guys? What do you think? Well, I think the second half, Purdue, as, as Tracy said, they just got to play a little bit better. Offensively haven't been efficient, and they have to guard on the defensive end. Michigan's spacing is unbelievable, giving the big fella room to roam and dominate. Teske dominate indeed. When Bajo got that quick foul, he had a couple easy baskets at the rim, and he started feeling pretty good, knocking down some jump shots. Teske, 5 for 7 from the field, 12 points in the first half. I think his career high, 15 points. I think, it, I think his dad called Beeline at halftime and said, why isn't he playing more? <laughs> <laughs> great effort, great effort. Big thing for Purdue, they've got to be able to handle the ball screen and the drive, stay at home, particularly on that weak side lob. And I think Carson Edwards, get back to his game, he is the catalyst for Purdue. And Michigan, they just got to continue to defend well. They've done a great job on the others. Isaac Haas, I think, help, but get back to the shooters. Mm -hmm. Don't let them go one-on-one -on -one down low. Uh, Michigan has had a couple of times in this tournament some big starts to the second half, including a 10-2 run against Michigan State yesterday to open up the second stanzas. Roger spins and gets rejected. What a move by Haas to deny. It looked like Wagner had set it up to oh, score a basket. And Jim, it was a great set. They got the switch they wanted on the cut. Great protection at the rim. Here we go. Yep. Bounce to ecstasy. He's unbelievable. Yep. That was actually good defense yeah. right there by Wagner. Just better offense. He, you know, he can get a bad angle and still use the glass. He's got a great touch around the rim. And he's got 13 now for the game. As the tops for either side. As Rockman. There's the switch they've been looking for. And he'll shoot it over highs and he's long with it. A little impatient, I thought. I agree. Developed it beautifully, didn't take advantage. Great post up. Say goodnight. Oh, and Haas just let it slip right through his fingers. A giveaway now by Thompson outside. And he may have been Haas uh, set up for a second straight basket down low, but turned it over. And great weak side help there. Haas just coming over to help out. And offensively, when he gets it deep, and even right here, he doesn't have necessarily the angle as you talked about, Raph, but what a tremendous touch. That's not an easy shot right there. Not at all. It's like, in the book here. Oh, the livers went down. Yeah. Tokyo's okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. That is not looking good. Stepped on somebody's foot, possibly. Yeah, he can feel it. Sometimes it's that initial shock, too. Right there, he just oh. got caught on the clear. I think Edwards may have stepped on his foot. Yeah, right there. See? Oh, it? yeah. Look at 
into the locker room. No, you know, sit at the end of the bench for a moment. They'll bring Duncan Robinson in. Alex but. Wong, longtime trainer. Goes to conditioning coach John Sanderson. Does a great job with these kids, too. Camp Sanderson. Yeah. Big yeah. off-season thing that uh, has benefited this program. I might try that myself yeah. this year. <laughs> I'll join you. I'll get a two-for-one rate. <laughs> This match inside, Simpson. Well, they've done a great job, but they just can't get it in. Can't get it in. It's settling there, but that enables you to get some offensive rebounds. Simpson was unable to find out. But if, if you've got good shooters, it's a little kind of a situation like that as we check Livers going to the locker room now. Hopefully it'll be temporary, but he's not walking very well. Second foul on Thompson. Purdue. But getting back to the throat, when you have that switch and you have a little guy, if it's a good shot and doesn't make it, you get some offensive position. Check your guy out. So you think like a shooter in that case, you know? <laughs> well, it helps <laughs> instead of those long. Simpson stepping up. Oh, he almost left his feet. Purdue Nation saying, wait a minute, what was that? Look underneath. Now he's going to launch a three. Again, the reason are kept him alive. And that's because of the mismatch. Splits him. Oh, and look at that move by Xavier Simpson. Who's afraid of the big Alabamian? <laughs> How about that? Use the rim a little bit. Over the top, they go. Great high low. Yeah, and they do that great. Of course, Edwards at that size can, has the vision and the capabilities to dump it down. Michigan has to work to score. The other end, he just used number 44. Sets a wraparound Pretty. pass. Sets up Wagner. And, and again, the switch. They've done that a couple of times as Hoss is in the game. It's exclusively high screen and roll mm -hmm. every time for Michigan. Fourth assist of the game for Simpson. Ball comes out of the hands of Matthias. Wagner wants to race to the paint. Showing those guard skills. Rockman gets the feet planted and hits the shot. How about the patience of the big guy with the guard skills? <laughs> Didn't do anything silly. There's Rockman's father, Dawood, who is a coach as well. His dad uh, coaches at Lehigh Carbon Community College in Pennsylvania. He coaches his son well. He knows how to play. Nice hands. Wagner. Oh, they got the foul on Wagner, I think. Yeah, reached around, knocked it loose, but got whistled for it. His second. Rockman on the transition. Just a fantastic shot. Has not really shot the ball poorly this tournament, but great find by Wagner and so much confidence from Rockman. Dad proud. And why not? I, he, he is the rock of this team, I he think. He really is. He's just not afraid to make big plays, critical junctures in the game. Hawking Matthias, he has not been able to. Nice denial by Teske. He killed himself with the dribble. Yeah. Matthias. Oh, well, you're lucky. Why would you help off him? Bachmann now on the move. Stutter step. Coming back out with it. Once again, Thompson inside on Teske. Matthews decides to take it. Teske. Didn't come up with it, but pretty good effort. Michigan bench saying that Edwards was out of bounds, but the other end, ball comes out of his hands. Wolverines on a break. Mason Dagger! And that was made up by the dribble penetration in transition. Simpson wide open, knocking it down with confidence. Michigan in control, up 11. A little celebration on the bench. Some moves. Yeah. Welcome back to the Garden. Isaiah Livers right now in the locker room. We saw him get his left foot stepped on earlier. They are calling it a sprain. They are working on it. No timetable right now for his return, Jim. Well, didn't look good for Livers, but uh, again, if it's a sprain, 
This Big Ten tournament being moved up a week. Everybody's going to get a chance, hopefully, to be healthy come tournament time. And, and Vincent Edwards, another guy, yep. too. I think another week for him. By the way, this is the biggest deficit of the uh, tournament for Purdue. Down 11 on this 8 nothing run for Michigan. And, and your comment during commercial was, was well thought. They kept going to the big guy. This might be a little better motion now with arms in there. Get back to what they like to run. Purdue has no rhythm right now in the offensive end. Mm -hmm. Too busy trying to get it inside. Easy. This guy's been quiet. Edwards. Off the floor is Matthews. He has been quiet. He's hit three shots talking about Carson Edwards. And a little short on him too, Jim, which leads to legs and fatigue. There they go. Got an excellent driver. We've seen him spot up shoot it as well. Ooh, Matthews touched it on the line. Just the second turnover. That's the first turnover of the game for Michigan. Up 11. Mm. Tomorrow on CBS, a great night of comedy with Kevin Can Wait, Man with a Plan, Superior Donuts, and the new comedy, Living Biblically. It's all new tomorrow. 8, 7 Central, only CBS. And back from the locker room, Isaiah Livers after twisting that ankle. But I mentioned it going to break, just the first turnover committed of this game by the, by the Wolverines. It's unbelievable how they value the ball under 10 a game. That is heaven. Yeah. And what's remarkable, you got multiple guys making decisions, making plays. Mm -hmm. One turnover. They Pretty amazing. They don't do things in traffic, Jim, though. They're so wide. A lot of space. You're not yeah. a lot of guys that can jam down and get a piece of the ball. At the second fewest by average turnovers committed in the entire nation this season. This is where you get it started, though. Maybe Vincent Edwards would be a guy to get going a little bit. It's been a 10-4 start to the second half of the Wolverines. He's a good driver, too. They got up before. I like that, though. Take advantage a little of your A player. Well, I like the fact he didn't settle. You know, when you're struggling, you're trying to get your rhythm, trying to get going, attack the basket, put the onus on the officials to make a play, make a call. Foul before the shot, second one on Robinson. But you got to give credit, Michigan's defense. I mean, Excellent. solid. And all be, tournament. Because it'd be, it'd, you know, it'd be like the uh, Tice pull up here, get him going a little bit. The Matthias. The Coda drilling it. And that was the first time where off a dribble handoff, Matthias was actually free all night. Well, he talks much about Michigan defense because Beeline is such an outstanding offensive coach. Look at that. Oh. No good. No good defense. Just a simple little play. Step back. Boy, that's out of the West Virginia playbook. That one, little hit yeah. down. It's 11 for the game for Wagner. Job here. Good for work. Get some help. Ball comes out of the hands of Vincent Edwards. And Matthews able to shield with the body. Michigan swarming on defense, creating deflections. Nothing easy for the Boilermakers. Yeah, that defense gave up only 63 a game, which was tops in the Big Ten. And the only team to exploit him this year was the 92 that Purdue put up on him at West Lafayette. Camille Harms. How about the handle by the big guy? And I love this play, Coach. Had on that last possession. Robinson just curled, and as you said, Wagner stepped back, but he attacked the close out. One dribble to the rim, 6'11", with that kind of talent. It's scary. Big upside on that kid. Yes, sir. And right now, Michigan's won the war. When you think of it, who would win out, Haas or the centers of Michigan? Here's Simpson with arms on him. Oh, well, they're going to talk it over. Simpson said it wasn't on him. Harms is pointing <laughs> to Simpson. Oh. They say it's going to Purdue. Well, it's kind of like when you the, know check, what? the check comes with you guys. He, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. Yeah. It's very uncomfortable under that table when that happens. Oh. But how about that? Oh. John, they, they were right as it turned out. Simpson wasn't hit the foot. Watch this off the foot, and he never touched. Oh, it. yeah, yeah. A little 
magical toe. Another shooter on the floor, Klein, as well as Mathias. Now he uses the bump to get some luck. Mathias is trying to gun them right back into this game. That's a three. Well, you've got to be relentless on defense because he will run for hours to get free. Arms really should be able to cover that much better than Haas. And why not, Bob? <laughs> yeah. His I mother. taught him how to shoot it. Biati is in from Berlin to see her son play. And she's going to spend uh, this next week coming up in Ann Arbor. It's a uh, week they're out of school. And here's Matthias. A tough one. Moving left a little bit. Never got squared. A lot of brush screens, ball screens, pin downs, rolls. You've got to be careful. Dig down. That's what they have to do, Purdue. Get no gel. Eastern trying to keep it on. Simpson switch off now. In the lane. Three left. That's all. But this is only the third time this season that Purdue's been in a game when it, it was trailing by double digits. And there are five losses, cumulative Touch total, him, 15 points. Touch him. Plenty of time to catch, Hands dribble, and shoot. Purdue. See if it's a quick handoff Purdue's in the be, corner. He's solid here. Maybe switch some of those dribble handoffs. Quick handoff in the corner. Oh, they... Bachner. That's what you wanted? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Got to be alert. Purdue not on top of their game defensively. And now Purdue's got its biggest deficit of the entire season. Purdue can't try to get it all back on one play. Just run your sets. Look for good opportunities. Tapped up and in by He's, Eastern. That kid is really good around the rim. How about that last shot, though, by Vaughn? Unbelievable. Oh. But you got to be ready, though. Got to be alert. Yeah, you got to be right out on him. The only choice he had was to spring to the corner. Arms can't help out too much. Shot on with five. Big step. Turn around. Oh, not a great nice. position no. right there. And he had a game. kick out, too, to Wagner. He's turned the freshman. Spinning in the lane, and he's going to be shooting a couple. Struggles from that foul line, though. Wagner, 17 points, 10 coming in the second half. Coach Wagner right now, getting hot, feeling good, and then off that out-of-bounds play, oh, just turns and fires. He's smiling for mommy as he runs down the court. Well, when Big Mo is smiling, you're in trouble. Uh oh big time. CBS Sports coverage of the Big Ten Tournament is sponsored by Verizon, the most awarded network ever. Dodge Garage. And by Chick-fil-A's Egg White Grill. Back here at the Garden, we have a fourth team now officially in. Lipscomb. He's going to the tournament for the first time ever, having defeated this afternoon Florida Gulf Coast in the Atlantic Sun Championship game and on to the big dance. NCAA champs once, Loyola, I think back to 63. I think Wagner heard you there at halftime, Coach. He got it going in the second half. Something about these second halves it's in the union. garden. It's his union. He only plays the half. <laughs> he's, he's on the bench with three fouls. And by the way, if you're wondering, Lipscomb out of Nashville, Tennessee. So mm -hmm. Belmont got beaten by Murray State. And they're also out of Nashville. And here again, big week coming up on CBS Sports Network, including the Colonial and Patriot League Championship games and all the action from the tournaments beginning Tuesday, 7 Eastern. How about that? 47% makes both of them. This is where they got to dig down. Pass back on the floor, see if they use him to run their offense or just settle on dumping it to him. Look at 
this kid dribble. I mean, that's unbelievable. Oh, he didn't get the way up. And Edwards has the rebound. Will Edwards get going now offensively? And so important for this team. They're unable to get a shot. Great defense by Rockmar. Fine. Just got to clear him out. Good great, job by Robinson. Dig. That's the first double. And a good recover. Eastern driving in. Goes off his knee and it goes back to Michigan. Great hands inside by Jordan Poole. Look at Poole. Yeah, <laughs> he's smiling, enjoying his I'll defense. I'll tell you play. what, he is some character, huh? Look at those hands. Great play, great recovery. And that's the assistance you need on a dribble drive. It's the ninth turnover committed by the Bullermakers. I think it's the short pass that make him a little quicker. <laughs> a little throwback, a little old school. That five wouldn't like those. Yeah, they're the ones who are the uh, trendsetters with fashion when it comes to that. They were. Now retro. And a foul outside. Simpson just been Pretty difficult well. all tournament tonight. Attacking, getting into the paint, drawing fouls, putting pressure on the defense. And he's got speed too, Grant. I mean, he can stop on a dime and burst. It's interesting how they get up on him. He's not really known for his shooting. I think you would space him. Right. It's more of a push shot, right? Yeah. And play him for the drive. But he can bite you with that thing. Shooters on the wing, Jim. Pool outside and a foul three three points and that's the second time tonight Ryan Klein closing out to a shooter in the corner and fouling a three-point shooter you love the effort the hustle but you cannot do that a run by him hitting him on the hand there pool so sold that sold that a little bit as well third foul on Klein you are absolutely right that was, that was a phantom Klein can't believe it and this kid's got a little juice in his body. He's a heck of a dancer. I was out there a few times. He does pregame, does <laughs> all the motions. Nice and relaxed freshman. He you, delivers. You were out there with him. <laughs> really? <laughs> kid. The Irish jig just doesn't cut it with uh, the modern day music. Those are the first two bench points of the second half for Michigan. The Simmons returns to the floor. So they had 16 points off the bench in the first half. Bulk of that coming from Teske. They just want Simmons to run the show. A la Xavier. So he hits all three. A fresh Vincent Edwards now. See if he can do some damage. Now it's a critical juncture here for Purdue. They got to stay in it. You got to execute. Do what was working early. Get the ball inside the Haas. Teske though has done a pretty, pretty good job defensively. Almost got the dead bounce, but pull quickly out of there. Nice move. So it's fouled again. Good aggressive maneuver. I'm telling you, these young guys are pretty darn good. And if they're going to get back into Purdue, they're going to make some defensive stands. Get some better shots, finish the opportunities. They play with a little more motion. They seem lethargic, don't they? They're very lethargic. You wonder, as we it's talked earlier, are they fatigued? No rhythm to their offense, no flow to the Boilermakers offense spin. There's Poole with a three. Edwards with the rebound. This is the fourth game, though, in four days for Michigan. As Edwards makes a nifty blow. Oh, and the shot somehow spins out. Oh. You're always looking for something to hang your hat on. That would have been a good little momentum carry. If any team should be tired, though, you'd think it'd be the Wolverines. But they, the bench has done a good job. Yes. You think of Teske's rested Big Mo. Nice rotation. Livers, pull. And right here, Edwards, three guys in traffic, able to just concentration and strength to get it up there. Almost made that impossible layup. All right, just an off game for him so far Wednesday on CBS. If you haven't seen SEAL Team, it's time to experience a whole new mission Wednesday at 9, 8 central, only CBS. 81% free throw shooter. He's got different gears. Talk about his strength. He is more than capable of running off a lot of points yes. quickly, as we saw yesterday. And that might be just the only answer they're going to have here. As they trail by 12 with nine minutes to go and seen out of sorts, out of sync. And Michigan very good at running their offense and comfortable late as well. A lot of options, the driving ability, the pull up.
find and kick. Ball handling skills of guys like Rockman. Yeah. Multiple guys out there that can make plays and decisions. Teske and Teske. Smallest guy on the floor makes the gets the rebound and there is Matthias taken off. Miss Galea. Ooh. Foul call on Poole. Boy, we need a new floor. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Goodness, the garden. How many, how many times have we seen Purdue miss just point blank layups? And what a great job by Haas sealing off, too. But right here, Tim Burr. Goodness, the Redwood. Oh. He's feeling it right now. He's like his back is hurting. Definitely took a hard fall right there. Matthews for Poole. The Michigan lineup. He is sore, though. Pleasant kid to talk to, too, you know? Very appreciative, and Rockman gets a little bit of blow. Timely, I think, with the media timeout. Shortly arriving. Edwards. This is not the same, right? No, nope. not, not at all. No magic. Three for 12 from the field in the game. Poole really thinks offense. That's that little replace they do so well. How about that? Oh, Matthews. You can't help off. Ooh. Real simple. It's tough. It puts yeah. the, the weak side defender in a bind. Well, then the, you know, the roll guy, they got to help on the roll guy. And who plays? Who's the cover guy? High low. Teske says no. Matthias, though, jumps to the spot. Tend to shoot. Edwards, D2 has had an off game. Everything contested defensively by Michigan. You know what's interesting? Robinson is playing great D2. Yes, he knows he is. A beautiful shooter. Way to give the shooter some credit. Exactly. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Blue Nylon, Matthews. Chicago Land. More time, perhaps, for back-to-back -back for Michigan, leading by 15. And there's your game summary, presented by Jersey Mike's. Bodner leading with 17. 17 assists by the Wolverines as a team, and again, only two turnovers committed, shooting 51%. They've played great defense, Jim. Only 10 fouls committed. Be defensively holding this team. Purdue, a great offensive team. Not even having 50 points, 47 points with under eight minutes left in the game. A total team effort on the defensive end for Michigan. Big part of the story, what they did too to Michigan State, held them to a season low yesterday. It's, it's a dilemma, really, yeah. because they, they are so good on the offensive end. You've got to match it defensively, but they have improved so much. The big thing with Purdue, sort of out of sorts, going to Haas a little bit too much, maybe hurt them. No rhythm to their game. And I think fatigue and not making shots, particularly Edwards really struggling. They count on him mightily. That Carson, that is. Season low for Michigan State of 38% for the field they held them to. 17 points below their scoring average. It's going to be a third foul here on Bogner. We talked about Michigan. Uh, fourth foul, fourth foul. Excuse me, Jim. You talk about the guys, Ed, the Edwards guys, Vincent and Carson, going off in the previous games, unable to really get it going right here. But down low, Haas is fighting with Wagner. I didn't really see much there. Oh, just a little. John Thompson used to say, give him a little touch. <laughs> Matthias, long with that one. Cool. Only man on that side. Seven and a half to go. 15 point bulge. Just dig back. That's what you have to do if you're Purdue. Be sound, don't gamble, but the dribble drive has just destroyed them. A push-off called against Thompson. Because Michigan moves that ball from side to side, it has those guys that can then attack and get into the paint, and the court is so wide open, so difficult to defend. Purdue having trouble here all night. It'll be a one-and-one one for Xavier Simpson. You ever notice, though, when we're in New York, there's a lot of traffic. <laughs> There's no traffic with Michigan. <laughs> they, they, they lift the center. There's, there's areas where they can dribble drive that uh, they take the capitalize on. Pool to the bench after providing some good minutes. Now that unique style by Simpson at the line, one and one. 
and I've got to get that. And a giveaway to an outstanding free throw shooter, too. And that's just demoralizing for a team. Purdue struggling all night to give up a rebound on a free throw line. Block out is not acceptable here. And now you trade out Robinson at the line for a one and one. He hit eight free throws yesterday and the win over the one seat Michigan State. You got confetti or something flying around. It's a little premature oh, for the celebration. Maybe somebody announced an engagement. Who knows? But do you remember the Oregon North Carolina game when they didn't check out on the free throws? It oh, cost them twice. Yeah, it did cost that him. It cost him it's an opportunity. It's the little things. Right in the closing seconds down in Phoenix last year's Final Four. One and one. Look at that stroke. 88%. I mean, just mark it down. It's like the intentional walk. Just get back on defense. <laughs> These kids have a lot of pride in Purdue, though. They're going to play this thing out. I'm not so sure they can muster a total comeback, but... Yeah, they're in a position. Again, they haven't experienced the entire nice season. Game. There you go. Edwards got blocked by Teske, but they say there was contact. And what a great screen and then a dive by the little guy. Just make him. You can get some opportunities, maybe, at the free throw line. Nice little curl there. Just great use of the bump by Vincent Edwards. Not giving up on anything, though, this defense of Michigan. Two shots coming for the sophomore out of Atascacita, Texas. Suburb of Houston, you told us? Yes. And boy, when we saw him play last year on this weekend. They were at Northwestern last year. And that's the first time we had a chance to watch him play. Of course, Swanigan was a part of that team. He's the Big Ten Player of the Year, so I didn't realize maybe that Edwards had this kind of upside, but he is first team all Big Ten. Now, this is a shadow of his ability, really. Yeah. Extend the floor because you make the free throws. Brady Eifert has come in for Purdue, number 24. He's at midcourt. And pick up Robinson. Well, their ability to bounce complements their sets. Robinson. Right over Eifert. But he passed up that first opportunity. Yeah, I thought Lost it was his right rhythm. So that was going to fly to the rim. Robinson is able to swat it away and keep it. I tell you, they have gotten so good on that end. Nice give to Matthews. Underneath the cylinder coming back out. Robinson was just about to make a great cut. Eifert held him up. Oh, that's Rockman on the floor. Simpson driving nice in. Nice dive. Teske trailing and dunking. How alert has this kid been? Find out what he had for breakfast. We're going to try it. <laughs> oh. Boy, the dribble has decimated Grant. Sets this up. A little bang. Great pass by Simpson. Great finish from Teske. Michigan celebrating early. Every right to do so. Matt Painter and Purdue just don't have any answers on the offensive end. Yeah, he nope. knows, too. No answers at all, guys. They missed their last six shots. Gone five minutes, 40 seconds without a field goal. Give credit to Michigan. Fantastic defensively. Swarming. Not playing the score, but playing the game. Still in it. Still competing on both ends of the court. Yeah, I think both coaches, it was the center. That was who would dominate, which decision, how we were going to play him. And the big fella Haas early had a lot to say. But I think this kid here, as long as, as well as Wagner, Impressive. And Haas with the rebound had picked up his fourth foul. When you take uh, the center matchup, you really talk about two guys for Michigan with Wagner and Teske. And combined, those two have 31 of Michigan's 66 total. Yeah, they played great. And this was not on the shooter, it was underneath. Nice has got the look, but the little bang underneath. Teske's third. 
So Haas to the line, who uh, looked like when he was coming out of high school in Alabama, he was headed to Wake Forest. Mm -hmm. And then on uh, the actual signing day, had a sudden change of heart. And Coach Matt, and Matt Painter was happy about that. Yes, he sure was. He fell well, in his lap. Jimmy, what was the story though? Uh, a couple of good players were on campus visiting. Yeah, right? his visitation to uh, Winston Salem, Chris Paul and Tim Duncan were both there, but uh, for whatever reason, got skittish when it came time to officially sign it. The parents called Matt and said, "You know, we actually paid a visit to Purdue. We'd like to take another, you know, look if you can. So have a chance to visit with you." And uh, Matt did point out to him, by the way, Paul and Duncan are not on the team. <laughs> just in case you haven't noticed, yeah. right? They were just happened to be there the week you were. So oh. if that's what you think you're going to wait for, us, you can have every day, you're not. Two great college basketball greats, Duncan and Chris Paul. Purdue's last six points have come from the free throw line. So that field goal drought you mentioned, Grant, extends past six minutes. Nice patience. Mm -hmm. Work the clock. It's your friend right now. They don't make mistakes. No turnovers to speak of. Simpson is trapping and take it away. Give it up. That's going to be a traveling call on Thompson. Mm -hmm. Once again, how about Robinson? This kid, mm -hmm. he's underrated defensively, I think. I agree. I mean, not giving up on the play. What a closeout here for St. Thompson to turn the ball over but that's effort right there multiple efforts on the defensive end in transition where nothing is organized Michigan stepping it up on the defensive end this year they really know the clock's their friend here five minutes to go and a comfortable 16 point lead so hard defensively, you can't double team them out on the perimeter because so many guys that can dribble and pass. So many options. Two to shoot, Matthews. And Matthias never gave up on that play. Terrific defender. Look at him run, by the way. A little bit like Reddick, you think? There's Eastern. Nice oh. shot. Nice move. Terrific. I like that comparison. Yeah, don't you? Yeah. Moving the screens. The yeah. You weren't too bad doing that yourself. Purdue, that was their first field goal. Breaks a seven-minute drought. Just keep your head in it if you're Purdue. Still time left, but to get stops here on this end. Arms with a really nice job spacing it out. Matthews goes up for the dunk and gets fouled. And what a strong move to the basket there by Matthews, but inside Teske set that screen so harms could not come over fully and rotate and contest that shot Teske doing the little things and they're not necessarily going notice but certainly making a difference Matthews with two at the line this week Colbert Stevens all new with Oprah and Reese Witherspoon Catch Stephen all week, all new on CBS. Arms made a pretty good effort there to negate at the rim, though, didn't he? He's an active kid. Pass on the floor now for him. Easter brings it up. He hit that last basket. Set a career high with 10 points. And he has it. Taken away from him. Yeah, I'm going to do a little too much right there. We talk about this defense for Michigan. Purdue, the number one three point shooting team in the Big Ten at 42%. Tonight, just three for 14. Mm -hmm. Teske on the way in. Ball comes out. Matthias surveys. Nice drag screen. Eifert gives it right back to him. Three and a half to go. Matthias stuck and draws a foul on Rockman. What excellent defense, huh? Michigan trying to go back to back. They won it last year in Washington. They've won seven straight conference tournament games. They're peaking again at the right time. 
Let's take a look at the AT&T fast analysis. And Jim, screen and roll all night for Michigan. Great pass. The roll to the basket. Wagner's there. No help side. Easy high percentage shot. Of course, now Purdue makes an adjustment. Inside, you got Matthias helping on the weak side. Matthews, the back action, wide open. Shoots it with confidence. Really, their offense all night has been set up off of the pick and roll and reading what the defense does and making those right reads and finishing. There's really no answer to it if they've got those shooters on the ball side replacing them. I and mean, it is a difficult task. Tough to contain the dribble. So many things they do well that complements their sets. So Matthias to the line to shoot a couple. We had a little chat with him before the game. Grant talked about growing up with a, a gym in his house. Yeah, no wonder he's a great shooter. Yeah, his father built a half court gym in his house. And well, it was tough for you. Your dad built a football field. <laughs> <laughs> he never went out there. How'd that work out? Yeah, right. My dad told me to shoot it off the glass on free throws. So that's that's my excuse. Really? Yeah, he yeah. told me that. He, all through college. Well, they may have done that at Yale, you know. He lost the backboard on shots. <laughs> he lost credibility. I lost credibility with my father there. He yeah, you know what a great story for Jim knows it well. The first bonding you had, your dad took it to the NCAA tournament, right? Yeah, to the Final Four. Yeah. My dad had just retired in 1984 in Seattle. My Georgetown Hoyas, my, then my favorite team, winning the game. And a little father-son time. Great memories, and great memories now with you guys, Yes, man. indeed. We're going to have our fourth Final Four together this year. See if we can get your dad. We can do somebody put something in the collection basket, you know? <laughs> you think I'm cheap. <laughs> that was a quick foul down there, huh? Love this kid. There's something about his presence. What do you think? Is this Michigan team you stack it up against last year's team that won the Big Ten tournament? What do you think? I, I, they've improved so much. It's better. What amazes me. I think they might be. I think they're better on the defensive end. This team, Michigan, is going to be a problem in the tournament. You're right. They are. Now, it's going to be interesting to see for them, as they've been playing great basketball, how do you manage this extended time off? When you're playing well, you want to continue to play. That's true. Yeah. And now you have this long break. So John Beeline will be very fascinating to see what he does. Now you've got Professor Beeline stirring things up in the laboratory, too. <laughs> that, that's an asset you have, right? That is true. Matt's got to just retool. Well, these guys back to where they were. I think these kind of shots weren't going in. Now they are. Wow. Edwards from deep. <laughs> that was not an easy shot. No. He's at 12 for the game. His first field goal of the second half. And plenty of time here, Jim. I don't know if you had a foul. You know, just the 13 points. That's not insurmountable with the ability to shoot threes. That foul call on Matthias. Hey, after watching Virginia and Louisville a few nights ago, oh, now you can't give up on any of these games. No, no. How about this kid's improvement in terms of running the team and defensively? Yeah. Oh, he really is the spark plug for that defense in many ways. Tonight on CBS begins with 60 minutes and a tale of redemption, followed by NCIS Bull and NCIS Los Angeles. It's all tonight on CBS. Great leadership qualities too. Almost stoic out there, isn't he? Just resolute, what he wants to do. But he's so confident. Mm -hmm. He's the key. Yeah. You know, he's the guy. He, his improvement this year has helped Michigan tremendously. Nice hesitation. Yes. The Haas gets denied under the basket, but Teske's going to be whistled for his third. And on that first attempt by Haas, Teske anticipated correctly that reverse layup attempt. But obviously they call for the foul on the second attempt. I thought Hash should have gone up on the same side real strong instead of extending. Yeah, go dunk it. Yeah. And I beg your pardon, that's the fourth on Teske. So you got four on Wagner, four on Teske with three minutes to go. And Wagner will take Teske's place on the floor. They're creeping around right now, Purdue. See how aggressive they are defensively? Got to force a turnover here. They're more than capable of getting back into the game. Michigan's got to value the basketball. Get Haas out now on this make. Play a little smaller. Front. The inbounds recipients here. T 
See if they switch this up and down screen. Yep. And they go deep. Hard trap. Up ahead, foul on the backcourt. They fouled Simpson. You're going to play the numbers. For they Purdue. do that. They've done that before. That's A lot of people it. do. This kid's improved, though. Well, Michigan State, they went to that last night. Stepped up, hit four out of six from the free throw line down the stretch. That's all praising what Simpson's meant to this team. Do you know in this tournament, again, three games to get to this championship, he's held the opposing point guard to 10 of 36 from the field. Mm -hmm. And under 30 percent, as he's again been this big defensive spark, as well as doing things like seven rebounds against Michigan State. And, and Jim, to add to that thought, he does a great job switching. He doesn't mind playing bigger people. He competes against them. Makes it a tough entry. But he's made only one of his last four here, and this will get to 10 or or less. Dias driving in and quickly. Brings it to 10. There you go. This play straight up. Fine reached around to get the ball. And Purdue, as you said, Bill, not giving up. They have to get a stop right here, which they've done the last few possessions, and get down there and get a quick basket like that last one. It's a 13 5 stretch for the Bullermakers. Bottom with five to shoot. Looking for something. It's left open. Oh, and it bounces off the front of the rim and drops. Boy, that was big. That was huge. Fortunus for the Wolverines. Gives him 13 for the game. Oh, that's too deep. Edwards. Haas is there. Haas second chance. I guess they said he fumbled it. Boy, they are showing a little heart, though. I'm impressed. This is too good a team. to walk out of here without their dignity. Timeout Purdue. And Purdue just spent its final timeout. And both teams are in the double bonus with two minutes to play. And it's down to 10. Got Wagner and Teske both with four. Haas with four. Wagner on the floor now, Jim. I feel they need some offensive ability to stem the tide here. I like what Purdue's been able to do. They've handled this pressure. They're pressed extremely well. well. Watch Michigan maybe try to go long on a play like this. Freshman to inbound. They get it to the right guy in terms of free throw shooting, too. They had to pull as Lightford. Easter reaching around. I thought Lightford had a nice trap. Gonna play it straight up. Usually Wagner involved here with a ball screen under 10. Now a six. Slipping. Losing it out of bounds. And pull right there, trying to do a little bit too much on that play. You need to at least get a shot at the basket on that attempt. You know, this Xavier out because of the free throw shooting. Now they got to get it back on the floor. Loose right here, so that goes oh. ice skating on that particular play. And he stepped on Eifert's left foot. So now, big trip here for Purdue. You don't need a three right here, just need to get something going to the rim. Edwards. Good nice. Is it up? Down to eight. So it was 18, it's down to eight. Ready for the pressure, too. Nice front, nice exchange. They got the rotation. Great trap. They got a timeout. They got oh. three. How did he get out of there? Yeah. Trying to keep it away from Simpson here. Keep it in the real good free throw shooter's hands. This is, I think this will be the last trip they can not give one. Robin Short. Off the floor with it as Eastern. Go to the hole. He's going right into the paint. Draws the foul. Why not? 50 seconds to go. Let it all hang out at this point, right? Yeah. Got to be ready on the miss. Two free throws, but you got to be ready on the second one, knowing not as consistent as others. Third on Robinson. For Purdue, you got to make sure make or miss. Match up. Get your man and try to get a steal or a quick trap here. Mm -hmm. They had it the last possession. Perfect. Somehow Rockman was able to get through. You're right. How the heck did he get out of there? <laughs> and Eastern struggles at the free throw line. 41% on the season. And Eifert replaces Haas. 
Conversely for Michigan, you have to block out here on this free throw and value the basketball. Strong passes, decisive passes when you get it. Mm -hmm. the second there. Yeah. There's that trap and rotation. They give it a good play. I think it's time. Don't you? Yeah, well, Duncan yeah. Robinson, though, on that trap, he nice little ball fake, froze the defender. Yeah. He was a smart Rock kid. One. Very smart. Rockman, the 76% shooter on the season with a couple coming. He just plays, just leaves it out. Nice having seniors around, though, isn't it? So nowadays is. we don't talk about them too often. I'll tell you what, the last couple of years, the founding champions have had a lot of seniors on those ball clubs. Nice oh, comes back in. I think a drive, and if you get a quick layup, I take it, but if you can drive and really collapse the D, get one of your shooters at three, and they give it to you, you got to take it as fast as possible. This was 66 48, fellas, with 5.50 to go. 18 points. Now it's seven. One more for Rockman. Oh, or Michigan. Got a push. Really having a hard time at the line. Got to go. Purdue without any timeouts. Jeez, Edwards put it off the glass. And what defense again by Simpson. What? They're going to send Rockman right back. It doesn't show in the box score that Simpson just contains his guy with the best of them. Called it best. Edwards attacking the basket. Simpson just look at that. Right? Balling him up. Hands straight up in the air, making him try to finish over, over his length. And Wagner. <laughs> He's got oh, some man. expressions, doesn't he? He, does. he does. He knows where the camera is. Oh, he does. <laughs> like Bob Fishman. That is a dream come true. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cutaway star for him. Well, the fish man. Two shots for Rockman just missed out of the line. And the free throw shooting, that could be a problem for them in the yep. tournament. Poor free throw shooter, shooting team, 66% for the season, and obviously not doing a good job here down the stretch as a team. If you're giving an MVP, guys, who are you going to give it to? I'm, 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 not, I'm not thinking of the number. It's you know, Xavier Simpson. I, 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 I might go with Simpson. How about Tesla? Think about it. You I mean, I, you know, it's for, it's for the body the whole, of the whole tournament. That's true. Well, I'm, I'm just thinking it's, it's got to be Wagner, it's be Wagner, Simpson, or Rockmark. Well, I'm just thinking of today's game. Oh, okay. today's game. Gotcha. Yeah. Definitely Tesla. Matthias. Into the hands of Michigan for 20 seconds. Let me just play it out, I think. How about back Stop. to back? Pretty impressive. What, <laughs> in essence, a growth process this has been. And there it is, official back-to-back -back Big Ten championships for Beeline and the Wolverines. came into a Big Ten tournament as a five seed it was in 2013 and that team they didn't win the Big Ten tournament but they went all the way to the NCAA tournament championship game be interesting to see what they how much better they can become this team is more than capable of playing great basketball at the time of the year you want and the defensive improvement Wow watch out for Michigan how about coach Beeline his son wins his conference tournament yesterday afternoon right. Patrick up at Lemoyne mm -hmm. in the Northeast 10 pretty impressive dad gets one today how about that what would you know about getting hot at this time of year uh, yeah, you got a few rings yeah, huh? I got a couple <laughs> who's counting uh, that is a tribute to kids believing in their staff and working at it all right Tracy it's over to you yeah he's
just told me he can't Sorry. stop smiling, and rightfully so. How does back-to-back -back mid-tag tournament champs sound to you? It's incredible. It's ridiculous. I can't, I can't stop smiling. I, I'm so proud of this team. I'm so happy. We put so much work into this, and this is one of our goals, and I'm so happy we got it. What is the biggest difference with this team this year? We're just so committed. No one has a personal agenda. Everyone is playing. Everyone is hooping, and it's so much fun to play with these guys. I can't let you go without asking you about your other big fella next to you and how big John Teske came up tonight. I'm so proud of him. It's the first time I saw him popping off. I'm so happy. That dunk was awesome. I'm very proud of him, the way he stepped up today. Go enjoy it. Thank you so And much. give your mom a big hug right no, now. No, for sure. Don't worry. making her way down to the floor and he just might be the most outstanding player and we'll be finding out during the trophy presentation Beate his mother reacting to the championship she was at the uh, tournament last year in Washington I bet they should bring her to the NCAA she, tournament she, too she, she's, she's never been here she's <laughs> never been, been present for a loss exactly she's undefeated Congratulations to Michigan. Boy, are they going to be tough in the NCAAs. Don't give up on Purdue either. But the Wolverines are the Big Ten champions. We're going to send you to Greg in New York, the studio across town with the Inside College Basketball presented by Progressive Insurance. We'll have the trophy presentation here shortly. To Greg right after this.